What's going on and welcome back to the PC Fun channel. My name is Lance and today I'm heading out on the upper Mississippi River focusing on points, riprap banks, and sand drops for aggressive summertime bass. To get these fish cranked up, I'll be throwing a topwater popper. This is an amazing bait for getting bigger fish to bite. Join me on this adventure, it's going to be a blast. Oh, and stick around until the end for a very special catch. The first spot I contact to fish is an upstream point that is loaded with wood. Upstream points are excellent options for throwing topwater baits on the Mississippi River. If there's wood present, it makes the spot even better. He punched at it once and then missed it. Came back for it. I kind of thought I was allergy. Nice fish. This is the way he was going after it. I expected it to be a small mouth, but we'll take the largies too. Nice little fish. Let's see if there's a school in there. That would be the only fish from the first spot. Now I'm moving on to better things and need to drink some coffee. Riprap banks are smallmouth magnets. The best riprap banks have current breaks and wood present. Cast as close to the rocks as possible and work the bait all the way back to the boat. It's common for smallmouth to hit right at boat side. There's one. I just kind of let it sit there by the boat and he just smashed it. Nice smallmouth. Working up this riprap bank here. It's got nice current on it. It's a good fish. All right, I'll put him in the net. All right, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. The sun is bright, it just came up. I just cracked a really nice one here on that black popper, that bullet pop from Berkeley. It's one of my favorites. I've caught more four pound smallmouth on that popper than any other lure. This one isn't four pounds, but it's a great fish. We're going to keep after them this morning. Keep trying uh, current seams, riprap banks, sand drops, wherever we can to put some of these fish in the boat. One structure that can be found along the main channel and backwater sloughs are sand drops. Sand drops are commonly overlooked but can be great for giant smallmouth. Sand drops usually go from foot of water down to three to four feet of water very quickly. The fish relate to these ledges. You use those drops to push bait up against them and, and feed. It's typically a smallmouth spot. There's one. He smoked it. Good one. In today's video, I'm using a Crank LS linear glass rod from Radcliffe Custom Rods, teamed up with a PC Fun Alloy M bait caster, spooled up with 20 pound braid. The popper I'm using is the Berkeley Bullet Pop, size 80, in the color Maverick. Ooh. fight. It's to be under the boat. That's good fish. Whole oh, big smoke. Come on, baby. Stay on. It's trouble here. It's hooked funny too. That's why he's going under the boat. Oh. Oh, what a 
fight. Uh, submit. Oh, I had them in the gill plates. So was, that is a tank. Oh my goodness. There's a tanker. Smallmouth. Look at that guy. Woo! Just a beast. I had him hooked right up under the, the gill plate there. That's why he was trying to kind of going up under the boat there. That one's a four pounder. Beautiful. Yes, let's do that again. This water is not clean. It's really stained and they're coming up and smacking it, but they're not getting it. That bigger one I caught just barely had it too. I'm gonna change up tactics here a little bit. They're liking the black, so I'm gonna finesse them a little more with a hair jig here. Got this black and orange hair. See if that gets them much lighter setup. Look at that. Right off the bat. Sometimes it pays just to switch up a little bit. Oh, good fish. Good fish. Hard to beat hair jig for smallmouth. Oh, this is a tank, guys. Whoa. You just realized that I got him. So much fun. That's that's one of my hand tied hair jigs. I switched over to this hair jig and it took like two seconds to get hooked up. I think that was a good call. You know, work them over with the popper, then switch it up, try something else, a little more finesse, and hooked up right away. Let's get another one. If you guys can see the sand drop, you can kind of see the dark water and then the lighter tan colored water. There's like a transition there. That's where it's really shallow and sandy. And then it drops down just a couple feet. And those fish push bait up against that ledge, but they hang out on the deeper side of it. And these top water is a great option for getting these fish just because it is shallow and they are aggressive. There's sand drops all over the Mississippi. They don't all hold fish, but if you fish enough of them, you're gonna find some that have fish on them. And it usually doesn't take long at all for them to show themselves. Water is dirty, so it's a little harder to see the sand drops, but they do form a distinct line of ripples. And the wind's making it a little hard to see them, but um, you can kind of see the sand drop here.
One of the cool things about the Mississippi River is the mixture of both largemouth and smallmouth bass. The patterns I'm fishing today appeal to both species, so you just never know what's going to hit next. Great on that point. Nice fish. Oh, big smallie. I think it's a smallie. It's a largey. It's a largey. He just inhaled that bait. Look at how he ate that. Holy smokes. Got it right up against that point and he smashed. Super aggressive. These poppers are just awesome for summertime bass on the Mississippi. Finally contacted one here. It's a giant. Nice fish. That's what we're looking for. Yes. Knew there had to be one in there. fishing that sand drop wasn't getting bit wasn't getting bit and he finally just crushed it I knew if I came in contact with one that they would bite gorgeous try another pushing four pound smallmouth super fun bite it's river levels perfect get on these sand drops work them Keep fishing them until you find fish like that. Okay, this probably gives you a pretty good look at where that sand drop is. It's a little bit lighter color. It's only probably six inches to a foot of water. Drops off to two to three. You can see the line of ripples it makes. And I'm just fishing that turbulent water just below that sand drop all right i know this is a popper video but when i see a weed edge as beautiful as this a frog is getting thrown don't go anywhere the best catch is coming shortly train bite all we needed was a train and he smoked it There had to be one in there. Oh. Finally. It was aggressive, so that's a good sign. Wanted it. Let's see if he's got a friend. Or better yet, a mother. I was just like, man, there's gotta be something here. Just too perfect. Nice duckweed mat. We got some rice in there. Got a little bit of wool. Another one. Smaller fish again.
doggy. Huge dog. Oh my goodness. Look at that thing. Huge dog. My goodness, look at this fish. That thing just came after it. Such a cool fish. So powerful. Just an absolute dominant predator in the Mississippi River. They eat everything and anything that moves. He just smashed that frog. Wow. There he goes. <laughs> what a fish. A lot of guys hate those fish. They will destroy your baits. But man, you gotta appreciate the aggressiveness. So much fun. Well guys, that's gonna do it for today on the Mississippi River. We had a great day throwing poppers for bass. Look for current seams, look for riprap banks, look for upstream points, and look for sand drops. Throw the poppers, you're gonna catch some great fish. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I enjoyed making it. And until next time, we'll see you out on the water.